This video is super special because I'm shooting a video to obtain a gorgeous picture for the cover of a very special magazine. I'm gonna do Elizabeth nails. We got one good hand. We're gonna do the other hand. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tell you what that magazine is. Let's get started. Okay, so I have prepped these beauties and now we're gonna start building the gel right away. So I'm going to clean the nail, get rid of the dust. I'm taking this right from the beginning for you. We're gonna start with the primer onward. Okay, so I've cleaned those and now I'm gonna use this protein bond. I'm working with young nails today. I've heard good things about this primer coat. So you put one coat on and then you go back and you do a second coat. Do you wear them this long? Like I'm gonna do them long. Yeah. yeah, let's see your other hand. I mean, you obviously do like them long. They're beautiful. You just did that, did you? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna build out this guy and we're gonna do them quite long. Hey, I got a new brush. Look at that, it's a gel brush. Usually I work with a square like mm -hmm. brush or a little bit of a round. Just getting rid of the packing tape that's in there. It's all brand new stuff I have today. Mm -hmm. This is the base, this is gonna help the builder gel stick to it. So I'm gonna put a base on all of these. A lot of you have asked me to try the Young Nail products. I did not actually buy any of these products. Young Nails graciously just sent me a whole bunch of stuff. So they were thinking what you guys were thinking. I should try it. So fortunately for this particular video, they actually had everything in the box that I need to do for this video. So I thought it was quite fitting. Okay, so now we're gonna build this out with a pink. Now, I have a lot of color choices here, but um, I'm gonna build out with the pink. I don't need to specifically have any particular color because I'm putting a solid design on top of this, so it doesn't really matter what the base color looks like. I've never worked this product before. It's quite nice. It's got a good viscosity, so it almost builds itself here. <laughs> now, because this is a cover for a magazine, I want to make sure that, you know, they're not your everyday average nail. <laughs> Just for the first magazine cover, I kind of want them to be crazy. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna go long. Mm. Look at that. I'm gonna go long. Elizabeth works in my salon. You've been there for how long now? Mm, I think since March. March, eh? And you've been building a clientele quite rapidly. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Learn from the best. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and start to form a nail. I'm used to a little bit more thinner viscosity, so this one is a little bit thicker, which forms the nail almost for you. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and form the rest and build up the rest. So the best way to remove a form on a stiletto or like a long nail, pull off the sides and then start pinching it from the tip of it and pinching it all the way down and then pulling it out. That seems to be the best way. So I do wanna remove the stick I've just got the young nail swipe, they call it. And that really removes it nicely. 
that's the dispersion layer that rises to the surface. You just want to take that off before you file so you don't get your little files all gummy. Oh, these are nice and long. I love them. We don't get to often do these long types of nails. Have you ever had anyone else get? No, not, no, no. no. It, they just don't, um, they're not that, well, they're unfunctional, really. <laughs> <laughs> Very impractical. Now, gel's quite a bit easier to file, so I don't really need a hand file for the most part of it. I've got a drill, though, and I'm going to go around the cuticle with the drill. I'm just going to find my shape. We're going to decorate some beautiful Christmas designs on here. That's really why I wanted all this nail estate, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. So I'm going to go through this for each and every one of these fingers and stiletto them right up. I'm just going to do a little cuticle work. I got my little young nails drill here. It's actually really cute. It's very self-contained, a little, little well to put the handpiece on, and the handpiece is quite nice. So when I'm using the e-file, it's not so much the length or to do this, it's just the cuticle work. Just to make it nice and smooth. I love the e-file for doing cuticle work. The hand file, you can do it, but it's quite a bit more awkward, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Saves you a lot of time. It sure does, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. Okay, I'm going to shape all these up and then we are going to start painting. So now for painting the design, the fun part. When you're doing a magazine, you kind of want to go extreme. Not all the time. Some are very natural looking and they're beautiful. But for this particular magazine, I'm going to go quite striking for the first. This is a special video because this is actually going to be Elizabeth knows my magazine. I'm releasing a magazine today in sync with this video. That's what this is all about. So this is my color I'm going to use. Go time. It's just white. I'm going to paint every nail with a solid white base. Shortly after I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to create a magazine. I thought it'd be great to have a magazine that's for everybody, not just licensed pros, but for everybody who loves nails. A place where we can all come together. So my magazine, Nail Career Education, will be found online. Caraman will provide some information so you know exactly where to go and you can get it today. We're syncing this video and the magazine release on the same day. So you can check out the making of the video, how we did these nails for the cover, and the making of the making of the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I'm actually doing a photo shoot where I'm including the model, the model's face, and we're going to make up her face and stuff too. I've got some really pretty, you've already got gorgeous makeup on, so all we're really adding is um, lips. i got some sparkly lips for you. Christmas red. This goes on quite nice. That's very smooth. A lot of times white is kind of streaky, right? Mm -hmm. This is quite smooth. Nice. Yeah, well. Okay, nuke away. <laughs> <laughs> They're so long. <laughs> it's hard to get in there. <laughs> that's funny. So that's 60 seconds cure and we're gonna do a second coat. Anybody? 
you're going to appreciate this as a nail technician. You don't need to put a top coat on it. That's amazing. It's just done and it's shiny. It's beautiful. Yeah. But I am going to buff it because I'm going to paint and these gel paints. Look at these cool gel paints. I'm going to put on top of this to make the design. So I'm going to buff it a little bit just to give me some grip when I'm actually doing the design. So just a slight, and this is with the, the Young Nail file, just a buffer. Wow, I think we have to measure these. I am so curious now. Okay, so I'll give it just a little wipe. Now we've got these beautiful gel paints. I've got them in several colors. Now I'm gonna do a very nice Christmas design. So we just need the Christmas colors. So I'm just gonna take them out of this box. Oh wow, I'm just gonna dump them. That's not being disrespectful. <laughs> I'll clean that up later. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna take a look at the colors. Now it's Christmas I'm looking for, so I need really Christmassy colors. Now I'm going to paint candy cane stripes on this, and one of them I'm gonna paint some little elves' feet. It should be so cute and Christmassy. So I would recommend nuking as you go. <laughs> yeah. And you could just do a flash cure. You don't have to do a whole thing. But the reason being is when you, you can see how tedious it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint on the red stripes. greens together to get the real green that we're looking for. I always wonder if I should put the green stripe right next to the red one, but I think most candy canes I've seen, the green is separate on its own, but I guess that can vary from brand to brand. Cute. Okay. my breath. I know, right? Are you too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you will notice that there's gonna be some edges you're not gonna like because they're not gonna be perfect because you're freehanding it. <laughs> but you'd be surprised how much a top coat can smooth that out. You get. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint up all the other ones I want candy cane and then I'm gonna paint some special little elf feet on one of those nails. So I had to switch classes because this is very detailed and I needs to see. <laughs> so now I'm going to use this accent finger to paint the adorable little elf's feet. And I'm going to use this micro detailer brush 
really for tiny details. Going to outline it first and then I can color it in like grade school. <laughs> you know, I have to say this was really tough for me to decide which design I was going to do on this set of nails because it's so special to me. There was so much. It took me like two, three weeks to decide. <laughs> I hope I made the right decision. <laughs> Now this is a very narrow finger. That's one thing I love about her hands is that they're quite a narrow nail shape. It makes the nails look gorgeous, but a little harder to paint a design on. I'm gonna to try to squeeze two little elf's feet on there. Let me see what we can do. So I'm gonna draw the outline first and then I can color it all in. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to give these little feet lots of character. So again, I just wanna draw the outline where I want it. The good thing is I can rub this away if I don't like it. It's a tiny little brush. So I hope I didn't do that too big. I'll try to draw the other foot on the other side. You know how the little foot kind of curls up and the little bells hanging on there? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do that. I might have done it too shallow. That might work. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take the green and fill it all in. I'll use a bigger brush, get this guy. We haven't cured it yet, so I still have to then to decide. So I'm gonna color it in, and then I still can decide if it's gonna to be too big. I think I made this foot a little too big. I think that'll be okay. I'm just gonna kind of trust myself. Oh, I see. Let's do it. Okay. You're never gonna be like 100%. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the long legs. Now I realize these legs are gonna be too long, so I might have to do a little skirt. What do else wear? I guess little skirts with leggings underneath. Yeah. Oh, the cat wants in, do you hear that? Critter. <laughs> they have some skinny little legs, don't they? This is becoming so, I did it so tiny that I may have to draw more of the elf. But the nail is so long, I might have to do really long legs, and that might look kind of weird. <laughs> let me just, let me, I'm going to, you got a measuring tape, camera man? Yeah, I do. I'm going to measure it. I'm curious. How do you work a measuring tape? <laughs> okay. Okay, these nails are, oh my goodness, that's almost two and a half inches long. Uh, yeah. He like really wants in. That's long. Please. Yeah, this is gonna be some leggy little elf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some skinny yeah. legs. They usually have like long, lanky little mm -hmm. legs. They do, yeah. but then what, what do the rest of them look like? I might have to draw more of an elf on here than I anticipated. Whole skirt. Yeah. Okay, new kit, and I'm gonna outline the little legs and the little feet. I'm just painting a little stockings. I will say it's much easier to paint it on a big canvas than it is a tiny <laughs> little nail. Although this is a long nail. It's really good. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. Mm -hmm. Now it looks a little rough, but once I outline it in the black, it's gonna be cute again. Okay, skirt, here we come. I thought it was gonna be just, you know, just the, the, the slippers and the legs, but we need to do a skirt because I am like way off. Okay, so we'll bring it right up into a little skirt and a little belt. I didn't think I was gonna use the brown, but here we are using brown. This is meant to be. <laughs> Good thing I have all these colors <laughs> otherwise. And that is a good mm. belt brown. Look at that. It's perfect. It's rich. Okay, here comes the little, little belt. I 
know there's no room for the face, but we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is part of an elf on there. I think. I think so. Now I'm just going to do some highlights with details. Okay, sometimes you just have to call it. So I'm just gonna have to call it. We're gonna top coat it. Remember I said how sometimes if anything looks a little iffy, the top coat somehow magically makes it all better. That went on nice. Oh my goodness, just I don't know what it does. It just lights it up. Okay, nuke it. We're done. <laughs> so excited. Okay, let's check out the reveal shots. I'm really excited. You know, all the weeks planning for this video and I still ended up with something a little bit different. <laughs> Can't believe it. So amazing. It's cute. It turned out better than I thought, actually. I did make a mistake and didn't do the feet big enough. So I ended up having to do an outfit, which I didn't plan, but it turned out okay. Turned Sometimes out that's what happens at the nail table. Sometimes mistakes are better. Are better. <laughs> they make things better. <laughs> and that's what happened today. But I'm so excited to have this on my first nail magazine cover. Karen Mann will put a link somewhere there for you to check out that magazine, my first issue dedicated to you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be making a magazine or any of this. So I can't thank you enough. And my magazine is a thank you to you directly. Thank you for joining me, Elizabeth. Thank I you, really Susan. appreciate it. I had so much fun. Not the last time you're going to see her. I love her hand and her patience. <laughs> we'll be working with Elizabeth again. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you soon.